Hello, good evening everybody. And a warm welcome to everyone for this beautiful evening. Denmark Hindu Association has successfully completed one year on this occasion. DTA is proudly, proudly its first anniversary and also the reunion here in Gadi. First of all, we are glad to have among us our honorable guest of the day. His Excellency, Mr. Ashok Kumar Akri, Indian Ambassador for Denmark, and Mr. Damo Chodavarabu, a first Telugu person settled in Denmark, who came in 1960s. A warm welcome to His Excellency, Mr. Ashok Kumar Akri, and Mr. Damo Chodavarabu. I kindly request both of you to come to the Rayas to start our evening by nighting the Diyam. Now, now we request Mr. Ashok Kumar and Mrs. Sarpi and Mr. Namo, whatever you please come over here and like you can. Uh, here this year also. 
Uh, you look ahead, I'm sure, with confidence, and you look back with great pride. So our best wishes to you and uh, your uh, uh, partners in the organization, uh, not only the office leaders, not only the members of the executive, but uh, all the volunteers who join you in Vajas program and uh, who are you know, doing such a good work. It is not easy to organize these events away from India. It requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of coordination, a lot of cooperation, a lot of support. So my good wishes to you and congratulations for the work. Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your inspiring speech. Let me stand down with you.
<laughs> but what I am trying to say is that in any case, if you want to live here, if you want to mix up the people and get some good experience, the first thing you do is learn the language. So you try to learn the language, mix up with the people, go and join them. There are a lot of associations in Denmark, like Telugu, Danish association. So you join these associations and try to mix up the people and try to talk, speak them and talk to them as much as possible. Even though you don't understand, or say something like this or something like that. And then, <coughs> like that, I did a lot of. Uh, I, I spoke. Uh, I, I never felt alone, alone in Denmark because I always wanted to talk to somebody. I want to fix it with something. I joined with the uh, home bar something where I met a lot of people and we had very good fun. <coughs> so that is one of the ways I could get along in Denmark. And now this is a virtual day, so I don't want to give you any other. Also, and the Hungary group like this, I think it's a uh, duty for all of us to give over culture, give over heritage, especially when we are not in India. And I think you will be doing your duty, and anything we can do, especially I can do, I should not say we can do, he is the one who runs the embassy. So please, I am always there if I can help you to arrange anything or do something or you want to do something where you want my help. So I am always there. And whenever we go to Alpog, so we will be troubling him. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.